Before I continue with the rest of my makeup, let's just give this foundation a moment. It's a makeup by Mario. I'm obsessed. I'm wearing shade 4C. This is not an ad. I just, it's perfect. It's like full coverage, but it's light, but it's not too greasy, but it's not too heavy. I don't know how I did it. I don't know, but I'm grateful, you know? Like, to, to, to come up with a foundation that is full coverage, but light, like, it's, it's good, it's impressive. And then I just use the Tarte Shape Tape in shade light medium. So I'm for the contour, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. This has been getting a lot of slander on the interwebs. I think, I don't know that I'd get on a wait list for it. Like, I don't know if I'm that crazy about it, but I feel like it gives a really pretty bronze glow. Um, I do think you have to use a brush to blend it in because if you use a sponge, it kind of soaks it up. But I think if you can do it the right way, it's really pretty and subtle, but people have been just like bashing it. So I'm kind of like, maybe there's something better and cheaper out there, or like it's the same thing for way less. Um, but I like it. I like it. Now I'm going to use the blush stick from Makeup by Mario and the color is raspberry. It looks very pink, but it's pretty once you blend it on. I don't, I'm not like, a, I like to look like I have blush on, but not, I'm not, I don't like to overuse blush. So I normally just kind of do it like that. And then I use this brush to kind of just blend her in. And it gives just like a pretty, you know, sun kiss is the look we're going for. Not sunburnt, sun kissed. And I like to just take it over my nose, even though I don't know it does anything, but. See, it's, it's subtle. This, like, when you when I opened this, I was like, whoa. But it's really pretty. And then for highlighter, I just used the Rare Beauty. And this is Flaunt. It's kind of like a goldy bronze. I just put it right here on my cheeks that on my nose and then like right on my lips like that. This is a brightening pencil also by Makeup by Mario and you just put this in your waterline and it brightens your eyes. And it does make a difference. Like one time I didn't have it and I, I was like, something looks different. And then I realized it was this. And then for eyeshadow, I just did bronzer with a fluffy brush. I just kind of did it all over. I used the Park Avenue Princess Tarte Bronzer and this brush from Nova Beauty and it just warmed up my eyes a little bit. It's not that big of a deal, but it gives it a little something. And then I just went under my eye with this tiny little brush, also Nova Beauty, and I used the same bronzer and I just went like under the lash line like that. And then mascara, I used the Lancome Lash Idol, which is one of my favorites. It makes like a huge difference. For lip gloss, I did Lawless Forget the Filler and the color is Daisy Pink. It's just a really pretty pink gloss. And then I'm gonna finish it off with Caudalie Beauty Elixir, which is like my favorite. It smells so good and it feels so refreshing. And that's it, I gotta do my hair, but that's it for makeup. So thank you for sitting and watching. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm trying to film a video. I started a detox, it's like this liver detox. No, 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 you have to PB. So it's just lemon juice, extra virgin olive oil, and cayenne pepper. So it's supposed to help with brain fog, fatigue. Those are just a few of the symptoms that I specifically um, have needed help with, so that's why I started it. What interested me is that my esthetician was asking about it because I have like hyperpigmentation, dark spots, melasma, and I guess there's some correlation with the liver. And so she sent me some videos and I did some research and people were talking about it and saying it was like insane results from it. It was like brain fog disappeared, 
energy levels increased, skin looked the best it's ever been, bloating went down. So I was kind of like, what is there to lose, you know? It's nothing bad, it's olive oil, lemon, and cayenne pepper, so it's not like I'm putting anything crazy into my body. So I started it today, you're supposed to do it like five to seven days, and you're supposed to eat like low sugar, low sodium, so we'll see how it goes. I've just had like really crazy brain fog and fatigue, like w doing one thing exhausts me and I know that's not normal. I also have an appointment to have blood work done, so don't worry, I'm not relying on TikTok videos to solve my issues, but kind of figured why not. I also eat terribly and I haven't exercised in a long time. Like I had a Mexican pizza yesterday and I will say it was, it was the, it was so good. And I don't recommend Googling things when you're like not feeling your best self because that will send you into a dark spiral. I'll try to keep y'all updated. I'm not good at that, but I'll do my best. All right, I'm basically gonna end this video here because I got these lashes that I'm gonna attempt. So it might take a while because I've never done these, but I'm gonna do another video of me trying that. So um, I hope you have a great day, bye. They say for the best My reputation's never been worse So you must like me for me We can't make any promises now, can we, babe? But you can make me a dream Is it cool that I said all that? Is it chill that you're in my head? Cause I know that it's